So we're finally gonna do the first series for discrete mathematics, and that's discrete mathematics one. We already have with discrete mathematics two. We started off at two first because my friend did that part, and he's better at it than I am, and I did really have time to do discrete mathematics one but here it is first of all discrete mathematics is a pain in the ass and I really don't like it and but I, and I somehow got I somehow managed to get a pretty good mark in the class so that's why I'm forced to do this but I really don't want to but I guess it might help you so let's first just go through the rule of sum and the product and I'm pretty sure you already know this this is high school stuff and um, you guys should really just know this already. So the rule of sum, as you may remember, it's if a first task can be done m ways, while a second task can be done n ways, and the two tasks cannot be done simultaneously, then performing either task can be accomplished in any one of m plus n ways. And m and n are assumed to be this thing. So what the, the rules here is that the two tasks what the fuck is... Oh, sorry. Swore. So the two tasks cannot be done simultaneously. And then by performing each either task, this can be accomplished in M, or M plus N ways. So that's pretty simple. And we'll go through a couple of examples to make sure you really get it. The second part is the rule of product. If a procedure can be broken down into first and second stages, and there are M possible outcomes for the first stage and N and possible outcomes for the second stage, then we can carry out the procedure in m m n ways. So right, m n is m times n, and that's the amount of ways that we can handle it. Handle this for a rule of product. So these are rules, and they are pretty damn abstract. Like if you just asked me to explain this to you, I got this from a book. I don't even know what it means, but then I really understand how the how the how the questions work, and that's all you guys are really here to know about, to learn about, I guess. So here's a simple example, and I pretty much made this or modified it from the book that I'm using, which is from Grimaldi, the screen combinatorial mathematics. But here's the simple example. So The Amazing Spider-Man, which is a new movie that's out at the time of the making of this video, is holding tryouts for the lead male and female roles. And, uh, there are five men and six women. How many ways can uh, the director cast his lead role or his lead couple? God damn it. I gotta, I gotta edit this. A little bit of OCD casted his lead couple. So it's really simple here. And this shows the rule of, rule of product. So it's pretty much just five times six. And that's... 30. So there's 30 ways that director can cast his lead couple. Why? Well, because we have five men and six women. So to show you in a diagram, we have one, two, three, four, five men, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six couple. Now, one of these men can be connected to any one of these six women. And so can the second guy, and the third guy, and the fourth guy, and the fifth guy. So taking five, and and each five guys can have six possibilities to to connect with a different female. Then that gives us thirty ways. Simple example, and I think I explained it well enough that you'll get it. So uh, example one in the gladiator arena, we have ten gladiators from Badiatis and. 11 from Salonius. Yes, I am highly addicted to fucking Spartacus. That's the best series I've seen so far. Other than Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is also dope. So, there will be one winner in this battle royale. And um, here's the first question. If there is to be one winner from all these candidates, how many possibilities are there for the event for the eventual winner? So we have 10 gladiators from Badiatis. So that would be uh, 10 from B and uh, and 11 from Salonius. 11 from Salonius. So this is an example of the rule of sum because as you can see here, um, there they are two things that cannot be on the same team pretty much. We have 
10 people from Badiatis' team and 10, uh, 11 people from Salonius' team. So there's, um, there's 21 different people. So of 21 different people, if each of them are just going to kill each other, then pretty much for the eventual winner, there can be one winner and there can be 20 different ways because there are 21 different individuals that can win. So that's A and uh, B is how many possibilities exist for a pair of candidates, one from each party to oppose uh, each other for the title of champion. So pretty much this is, if you have guess rule of product, then you guess right. You have 10 people from Badiatis and 11 people from Salonius. Similar to this, uh, Similar to this, uh, we have uh, like say say this. I have ten circles here and eleven circles here. Um, the per the first person can can be paired against uh, any of the any of the other uh, eleven from the opposing team, and so on. And that's what uh, that is what gives us a hundred and ten ten times eleven. God, I have I have horrible mental math. So. In this case, I'm just going to freaking use calculator. So we have 110. My brain is just not working today. That is my excuse for my horrible math. But then I somehow got an A in the course. <laughs> Things is just fucked up. So C, which counting principle is used in A and in B? So in A, um, the rule of sum. And in B, uh, in B, it's the rule of product. So here are, uh, here are two more examples that I'll go through in the next video. I'm going to stop here so you guys can take a look, look at this exa these examples and try to do them on yourself. In the next video, we'll, go, we'll just go through it and do these two examples and we'll call, it, we'll call that that. Uh, other than that, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on Twitter and uh, like us on Facebook because your support really helps. It tells us what kind of what kind of courses or subjects that you guys want to or need need help in, and we could uh, provide you with what we know. So yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.